In the olden days, this woman would have been tied to a stake and burned alive. Want to see how I transformed from this sweaty, stinky, greasy hench into a substantially less greasy and sexy Shrek? Well, you better keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. It's nice to meet ya. My name's Susie. Today, I thought we would just do a fun get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in forever. And I asked on Instagram what people wanted to see more of and everyone was like, do your makeup on camera. And I'm like, okay, chill, chill, I'll do it. My first step of getting ready, I need to shower because and shave and I need to do my hair removal. So I'm gonna go shower now. Can you reach me? No, we can't. Uh -huh. Oh, rock a smooth skin. You say you wanna get in my bed? Now I need to do my at home IPL hair removal and I'm gonna use my Kenzie, of course. And this video is kindly sponsored by Kenzie. So thank you so much to them. It is an at home IPL hair removal device. This will give you long term hair removal in the comfort of your own home and it's really quick and easy to use. You can get results as fast as two to three weeks of using the device and you will get your full results after 12 weeks. I'm just doing upkeep at the moment because I have been using this for a few months. So this is the hair on my armpits after not shaving for two weeks. It is so much thinner. I've only got a couple of patches of hair. Before using the Kenzie, my armpits were so much hairier than this. And I don't get any ingrown hairs anymore, which is amazing. In the box, you get the Kenzie device. It has a three meter long power cord, which is so freaking handy. So it does come with an American plug, but I just got this little adapter off of Amazon and you stick it right in. It also comes with an instruction manual, a 12 month warranty and a skin tone chart. IPL is not laser, it is intense pulse light. So it treats a wider area faster. So it converts light energy to heat and zaps the melanin in your hair, killing the hair follicle. So it grows back slower or doesn't grow back at all. I've talked about this before, but I struggled so much with finding a hair removal method that worked for me. And this is the first thing that has actually made hair removal not a massive pain in the ass. I am really happy with my final results, but I like to do upkeep every three months. So I just shaved in the shower on this arm and I'll show you how I use the Kenzie. Once it's plugged in, you just press the green button and then it starts making this little whirring sound. You just press the button to increase the intensity. I always use it at five because I literally don't feel it anymore. It's not painful at all for me. On clean shaved, dry skin. You just put it flat against the skin and press this big button here. I like to close my eyes because it's quite bright and that's how you use it. It's as easy as that. And as you can tell, I literally didn't flinch. If you hold down the button, it'll go into glide mode. So you don't have to keep on pressing the button. It'll just keep on flashing like that. If it's not pressed against the skin, it won't go off. And I just do that all over on my armpits, my legs, where I want my hair gone. And I literally saw my hair get so much thinner in the first two weeks. And you will get your results in 12 weeks. Now, after using it for months, I have hardly any hair left. So I do think the longer that you use it, the more it continues to reduce your hair if you still have some left. Getting laser at a salon, you have to pay like $150 plus each time and you have to go multiple times, but you only have to buy the Kenzie once and then you have it forever. Even though Kenzie is already so affordable, they have been kind enough to give us a discount code. So you can use the link below or go to Kenzie.com, which is K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com and use code SU50 for $50 off your Kenzie. I have struggled with hair removal for as long as I can remember and finally I have something that works for me. So I highly recommend trying out the Kenzie. It is a lifesaver for us hairy girls. And they also have a 90 day money back guarantee. So you really have nothing to lose. Thank you again to Kenzie for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the makeup. I also just want to say, if you don't want to remove your hair, that is completely okay. In no way am I saying that you must remove your hair. You do whatever the hell you want with your hair. Okay, first of all, I'm going to do my skincare and then I'm going to go get vaccinated because my appointment is really soon. So I need to hurry up. So I'm just going to put on some hyaluronic acid. By the way, all of the skincare and makeup 
that I am using, I will link in the description. Moisturizer from yours. Oh my God, I'm running so late for my appointment. Just putting on some eye cream or serum. This one is Good Molecules. And I did laminate my brows recently at home. You can't really tell because they're falling. For upkeep, you just need to put in this oil and brush them up. I'll be doing a video on how I did that and everything soon, but I'm obsessed with laminated eyebrows now. On my lips, I'm gonna put on my beloved Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. This is just the nicest stuff ever. And because I'm going outside, I'm gonna need some sunscreen of. I was looking at my old videos and I look so much younger. And I also acted so different, it's so strange. I feel like I was a bit of a try hard, but maybe I was just happier. <laughs> I feel like I had so much energy back then. Anyway, I'm using this Yours Sunny Side Up Sunscreen Mist. But the formula, oh, but the formula is really nice. And I just rub that in. I literally have five minutes to get to my appointment. Okay, I'll be right back. Ah! <laughs> Hot fact summer. So I'm home now and I've got my first one done and in three weeks I'll be getting my second one. So super happy about that. But now it's time to do my makeup. So I'm gonna put my hair up. Oh my God, I look like that guy from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so I've got my girl Sasha back here. Bratz sent me a package of makeup, which is so crazy. And they sent me this super cute Sasha doll. Who was your fave Bratz doll, guys? Mine was Jade. So they sent me this palette here, which is so pretty, by the way. I've already had a look inside. So many colors and some really nice glitters. And then they also sent me the Sasha palette, which is so cute. I love the packaging. And then that's the colors in there, really gorgeous. And then they also sent me this really cute little makeup bag with the brat symbol on the zip. Two lip glosses, a clear one and the Sasha color and an eyeliner and a lip crayon. So thank you so much to Bratz. I think before I go and do my brows, I'm just gonna put a bit of concealer on my pimple I've got here. My skin is freaking out lately, guys. I went off the pill recently because my hormones were just out of whack and I wanted to get a hormone test and to get one, you need to go off of the pill for six weeks. So I'm on my fourth week now. Had the heaviest period of my entire life. I forgot what it was like when I used to get periods because I have PCOS. Yeah, and I forgot what it's like to literally stand up and be like, oh, there's a waterfall down my leg. I'm just using ABH Clear Brow Gel. Because they're laminated, they stay up pretty well themselves. I cleaned all my brushes as well. Look how nice. I'm not doing anything crazy with my brows recently. I just kind of do little hair strokes where I have sparse areas. One day I wanna do a video of me doing my makeup like I did in high school because I would literally take a brown eyeshadow and just do this <laughs> in my brows. So I'm just gonna take a little concealer and just carve out my brows a little bit and then I'm just gonna tap in the excess. Sometimes fingers are the best makeup brushes, I swear. Okay, and then the rest of that concealer, I'm just going to pat on my eye as an eyeshadow base. I might use the Sasha palette because there is some, oh my God, I got a package, I got a package. Someone's cat had just gotten into our backyard, so it wasn't a package. I'm gonna go in first with the transition color, so I'm just gonna use Vibe Check. The Bratz live action movie was, mm, Elite. Yeah, well, you don't look ignorant, but I guess you can't judge a book, right? Most iconic moment in TV history. And now I'm gonna go in with mixtape and just brighten up the colors a bit. And then on my lid, I think I'm gonna put Bunny Boo. I'm just gonna pat that on with my finger because it's my favorite method of putting on glittery eyeshadow. These are highlighters, I think, but I don't care. I'm gonna take Groovalicious and just put that in my inner corner. Now I'm gonna try this Bratz eyeliner and we'll see what it's like. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this on camera. I can't believe I managed to do that on camera. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> the other eye is just gonna be a massive mess. Are they even? One of them's longer. Oh no. Well, that was short lived. I'm just gonna take a little bit of makeup remover on a brush and try and wipe away my mistakes. Okay, cute. Now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes with my $4 eyelash curler from Kmart. 
I hate this thing. It literally pinches my eye every time I use it, but I just haven't bought a better one. And it struggles to grab all of my lashes, so sometimes I have a lash that just points straight down. So I decided to get a coffee on the way home from my vaccination, you know, support local cafes because they're struggling and they're still doing takeaway coffees. Quite legitimately, the only people that I ever see walking around are old people. And I'm like, shouldn't you be the ones that are being the most careful? Now I'm gonna put on some Il Maquillage Mascara. Made in Italy. We love Italy. So fancy. I like that one because it doesn't make my eyelashes like clumpy, like back in high school when I used to wear eight layers of Maybelline mascara. Okay, for my base, I'm just gonna put the tinsiest bit of facial oil on first because my skin is just super dry, but then I also have a lot of texture. And I find that so many foundations just look so drying and scaly on my skin. And oils really help my foundation go on so nice. Not too much oil though, because it will literally glide off your face. Also, this is a lip plumping gloss, so I'm gonna put this on and we'll see if it actually works. First things first, primer. I'm just gonna put the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on my nose where my pores are big. This stuff is amazing. e.l.f. comes out with so many bangers. Now, underneath my foundation, I'm gonna put a highlight stick on my high points. Ow, that really hurt that pimple. I'm just gonna dab that in with my fingers. It's funny because most of the world was in lockdown and then we weren't in lockdown where I live. And now most of the world is out of lockdown and we're in lockdown. For my foundation, I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is a makeup sponge from Flower Beauty by Drew Barrymore. I love Drew Barrymore so much, no, no shade at all. Just making sure that's really well patted into my skin. And then under my eyes, I'm gonna conceal. I'm not gonna use too much, a bit down the nose. And that's kind of how I place my concealer. And then I kind of bring it up here onto my cheekbone. And I just need a tinsy bit more, I think, right there. And I'm just gonna pat that in with my finger, just so my beauty blender doesn't soak up any of the product. I don't like to apply powder on wet concealer because it just looks so dry. That's a tip that I learned recently. For contour, I'm gonna use a stick foundation from Makeup Revolution. I'm actually just going to wipe it on my hand and dab it onto my hand and then straight onto my face. And this stops it from moving around your foundation. I love cream products and cream contour. It just looks so much more natural. Look how nice that looks. And then I'm gonna do a little bit down the sides of my nose and kind of contour it. And I always do a little bit under here. And then for blush, I'm just gonna take some lipstick and do the exact same thing. Why buy cream blush when you already have a makeup drawer full of lipsticks? And then I'm gonna take that liquid highlighter from earlier and just apply a little bit with my fingers onto my high points. We love a dewy moment. I feel like my lips actually are bigger. I'm living. Have you guys seen that TikTok thing where you blow air behind your lips to make your lips pouty? Bully so big. Bully, bully so big. Bully so big. <coughs> Booty so big! Booty so big! Lord, have mercy! And a little bit above my brow, where the light hits. Why do I sound like Mort? King Julian! And I'm just going to tap that concealer because it's creased. <coughs> oh, they're still looking for their cat. I recently got the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I did not realize that Maybelline wasn't cruelty free. So I'm really sorry about that. That was really disappointing, but I've bought it now. And I got it in shade light, even though this shade is not even that light, not gonna lie. <laughs> Just gonna go around my nose and where I get oily and on my forehead. And my favorite little trick is to grab this Focalore palette and take this shade Alabaster and just run it over where I've powdered my eyes. It just brightens them so much. Look at that difference. I've also been seeing all of these people on TikTok using this like cream makeup that's in all of these different colors that you mix together to make your foundation. And it's like people trying to sell it and it's quite obviously one of those pyramid schemes. 
And fun fact, when I used to work at Benefit, I had a lady come and try to get me to join a pyramid scheme, some makeup company. She passed me a note when I was working. It was the creepiest thing ever. The way that they just take your dignity away with those pyramid schemes should be illegal. She just slid me a note when I was working and was like, meet me in the food court at lunch. I'll be waiting. And I was like, what the fuck? And it was kind of awkward because my manager was there and my manager was a massive bitch. So she was like, why are you talking to someone and not selling makeup? God, I hated her. Um, so I walked into the food court and I was like, hey. How y'all doing? I'm like, what's up? She was like, do you want a new job in makeup where you can make so much more money than your, what you're making at Benefit? And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> 17 year old me just getting dragged right into it. Yeah, so it's this makeup company. They sell amazing makeup. You can make so much money from just going to people's houses and selling it to them. And you only have to buy all of your own makeup, which will cost about $500 or something like that. And I was like, I have to buy the makeup? Uh, I thought I was getting a job. I thought I was getting paid for this. And she was like, you join and then the makeup's yours, but then you can sell it all. And I was like, girl, this is sketchy as hell. I was only 17 and I still knew it was sketchy. And then she was like, here's my number, call me. And then I never ended up calling her, but... I hope she's doing well in life. Like she really had a lot of ambition, that lady to come in and grab me from my place of work. I'm just gonna bronze quickly. Little Mark Jacobs bronzer. My manager at Benefit was a psycho. She acted like she owned Benefit, but she would just bully everyone. She said the N word and she was white. She called me an N word one time and I was like, wait a damn minute <laughs> this is not right she would like laugh and jokingly be like ah, you bitch and i was like okay we're not on that level when she was training me when i first started she was probably like oh this like girl has never had a job before she's not gonna know if i mistreat her i think that's how she picked the people she hired she was like don't become friends with the other girls they're only out for themselves and i was like what the fuck I see now that she was just trying to alienate me from the other girls because she was friends with the girls and she didn't want me to be part of the group. But she wasn't just mean to me, she was mean to everyone, but she was particularly mean to me. I got whooping cough and I gave her a medical certificate and said I couldn't come into work. I came in the next week and she said that someone had seen me out partying and that she did not believe that I had whooping cough. And I was like, girl, I gave you a doctor's certificate. <laughs> What else do you need from me? My blood? Do you need my blood to go test it? To test that I have whooping cough? Because I have whooping cough. And she also told me that I needed to get there 15 minutes early. And if I did not buzz in 15 minutes early, I would get docked 30 minutes of my pay. Complete lie. She also said that I was not allowed to put any makeup on my face other than Benefit. So I basically had to buy my own Benefit makeup to do my makeup. I could not afford Benefit makeup because I was getting paid minimum wage. So she was like, you can just come in 30 minutes early and do your makeup with the testers and not get paid for it. To anybody who is watching this, if something seems off with your manager, report it. Talk to people about it. It is not normal for your manager to be a massive bitch. That's not their job. Their job is just to manage you. I let her get away with so much stuff because I didn't realize what she was doing was wrong. And I feel like a lot of sad, decrepit people love to take advantage of younger people who are in their first job and they don't know how they should be treated. In the end, I ended up reporting her to benefit and nothing ever came from it. I hope she's doing well. Actually, that's a lie. I hope she's not doing well, but I hope she's become a nicer person. Okay, I'm gonna use my Ill Maquillage Big Spender Mineral Baked Blush. This is super pretty. Yeah, so that was my experience working at Benefit. There's a lot of other bad things that happen, but honestly, I could go on for like a whole video about it, but I won't because she doesn't deserve the time of day. This is just like a really sheer shiny color but I'm still gonna put on a bit of highlighter. I'm gonna put on this dull light, like a diamond highlighter, just a really, really tinsy bit. And just with my finger, I'm gonna put a little bit down the bridge of my nose and the tinsiest little bit here. If you don't have one of these eyelash applicators yet, you are missing out. They are so 
much easier to apply lashes with. I really don't feel bad at all from that vaccination. I actually feel kind of good. While that's drying, I'm gonna put my lippy on. So I'm gonna use Sasha Lip Crayon from the Bratz Collection. This color is so pretty. It's like a lipstick and a lip liner in one. For anybody who struggles with lashes, looking down at a mirror makes all the difference. Those lashes are too natural. And I'm just doing some little inner corner flicks. Ah, that's better. I'm gonna use this little e.l.f. brown sugar lip scrub thing in this little lipstick because my lips are really flaky, I just realized. So I had to take off the lipstick. Oh my God, the urge I have to just bite this right now. Ah, hey, it kind of feels like sandpaper on my lips. It's really yummy. I just want to eat it. So last night I stayed up really late and it was the first time in a while that I ate an entire bag of Doritos. I've been really good with not mindlessly snacking lately, but I just like late last night decided it was a good idea to eat an entire bag of nacho cheese Doritos. And the pain that I had in my stomach afterwards was like nothing I have felt before. I used to eat a whole pack of chips all the time and be fine. But last night my body was like, no girl, we stopped doing this a long time ago for a reason. I'm just gonna bite a little bit. You can take a small bite. Mm. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's not as yummy as I thought it would be in a big amount. I just realized I forgot to fill my beauty spot back in, which is something I always do. So I'm just gonna do that. Cute. I feel like putting in some brown eyeliner in my waterline. I don't know why, I'm just feeling crazy. And now I'm gonna smudge it out with choreography. Cute, love. Now I'm gonna go in with the lip liner and then the clear gloss in the middle. I'm just using Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day. Hair time. Oh, and it's done. <laughs> Recently, I decided to splurge and I got the Dyson Airwrap. Oh my God, this thing was so expensive, but it's kind of worth it. I don't know if it's worth it, but like it is really, really nice and it makes doing my hair so much easier. I'll show you how I style my bangs. So I just use this little attachment here. Look how beautiful the box is. And it has my initials on it, ST. So I love. I'm gonna spritz my fringe with water. And then I take the air wrap. And then I grab a Velcro roller. Do my hair up like that. And then just take a couple of clips. Clip it in. I've got some press on nails that I want to stick on. So I'm going to do that. These nails are from the Holy Nail UK, by the way. I'll link her down below. So these are my nails before and after. Okay, I'm gonna do the other hand quickly. I just put some jewelry on. So this is from White Fox. These are from Etsy. And I've got some rings on. I have this opal ring. I freaking love it. It's so pretty. Outfit change. I feel so cute right now. Okay, pulling my hair out. And that's how the hair comes out after leaving it in the Velcro roller. I love it. And this is the outfit. I feel so I do have heels on, but I don't want you to see my feet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go take some photos now. Thank you again to Kenzie for sponsoring today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed the get ready with me. I really enjoyed filming this. It was so fun just like sitting down and chatting. I haven't done that in a really long time. I feel so cute. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say where everything's from. Skirt, Princess Polly. Oh, everything is from Princess Polly, this whole outfit. So pretty easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you enjoyed today's video and if you would like more get ready with me. Make sure to like if you enjoyed and please subscribe if you haven't already and join our family all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. 
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Booty so big! Lord, have mercy! Queen shit.